Real Life Events Exposed in the Amazon Thriller, The Report A gripping thriller docudrama film based on real-life events is coming to theaters this November 15th and streaming on Amazon Prime starting November 29th. Entitled The Report, directed by Scott Z. Burns and headlined by formidable actors, it exposes a controversial investigation involving the CIA and prominent political personalities. Watch this video and see how bold The Report is. Number 5. The 2014 Senate Probe into the CIA's Use of Torture Post-9-11 The report's plot follows a sensitive issue in the aftermath of the September 11, 2001 terrorist attacks. The Senate investigation into the CIA's use of torture against 119 detainees. Upon the initiative of U.S. Senator Dianne Feinstein and Senate Investigator Daniel J. Jones, the result was the 6,700-page 2014 report entitled, The Committee's Study of the Central Intelligence Agency's Detention and Interrogation Program, better known as the Torture Report. It exposed the CIA's use of enhanced interrogation techniques, a euphemism for the government's program of systematic torture. Described as brutal, immoral, and ineffective, methods used included beating, waterboarding, food and sleep deprivation, hooding, and more. The CIA routinely misrepresented these facts to policymakers, although it admitted to waterboarding three people implicated in the 9-11 attacks. However, when the Senate Intelligence Committee attempted to release the results, the CIA and the White House went to great lengths to conceal the truth. So, who were the key players in this controversial case? Number 4. Former CIA Director John O. Brennan In 1980, John O. Brennan saw an ad in the New York Times about CIA's recruitment, so he applied and got accepted. He began his CIA career as an analyst and spent 25 years with the agency. In 2001, he was the agency's Deputy Executive Director, then served as the newly created Terrorist Threat Interrogation Center's Director from 2003 to 2004 an office that sifted through and compiled information for President Bush's daily top-secret intelligence briefings. He left government service briefly, but returned in 2009 as Homeland Security Advisor of the Obama administration. Finally, President Obama nominated him as CIA Director on January 7, 2013, and his appointment ended on January 20, 2017. Logically, Brennan was privy to the CIA's implementation of the enhanced interrogation techniques exposed by the Senate's report. In December 2014, he defended his agency from the sharply critical report, calling it flawed, and he also disagreed with its conclusion that the enhanced interrogation techniques were ineffective. In the movie, Brennan is portrayed by Ted Levine of Silence of the Lambs fame. Number 3. 26th White House Chief of Staff Dennis McDonough the White House Chief of Staff is a political appointee of the U.S. President, serving as the private secretary of the world's most powerful figure. He must be an ally of the President, willing to serve at his pleasure and to even take a bullet for him. Dennis McDonough, a Georgetown University's Edmund A. Walsh School of Foreign Service graduate, was the 26th White House Chief of Staff during Barack Obama's second term from 2012 to 2016 at the height of the CIA's dramatic battle over the Senate torture report post-9-11, Obama came to the aid of the CIA and ensured that the vast majority of the report remained classified and out of public view. McDonough played his part as the chief of staff by personally negotiating redactions of the report between the CIA and the Senate committee. McDonough was criticized for focusing on the CIA-Senate feud rather than on more pressing tasks. Will Mad Men lead star John Hamm make McDonough a memorable real-life character on screen? Number 2. Senior U.S. Senator Dianne Feinstein In the trailer of the report, California Senator Dianne Feinstein, portrayed by seasoned actress Annette Bening, asked, Have you seen the story today in the New York Times? To which an associate replies, Evidently, the CIA destroyed tapes of interrogations of all Al-Qaeda detainees. Then Feinstein asserts, I want to find out what was on the tapes and why they were destroyed. It was in 2005 when the initial investigation of the CIA's systematic torture of terrorist suspects post-9-11 attacks got off the ground. On March 5, 2009, the U.S. Senate Select Committee on Intelligence voted to open an investigation into the CIA detention and interrogation program. The committee chair was Feinstein, the first and only woman to have held such a position from 2009 to 2015 as well as the Senate Rules Committee from 2007 to 2009. 
It took six years for the committee to come up with a conclusion that capturing terrorist suspects and torturing them in secret facilities failed. Until today, Feinstein continues to vow to do everything in her power to stop the United States from ever again conducting torture. Number 1. Former U.S. Senate Investigator Daniel J. Jones There wouldn't be an anticipated film called The Report if there wasn't the damning Senate Intelligence Committee report exposing the CIA's deplorable torture methods of 119 detainees. And there wouldn't be the existence of such a comprehensive report without one brave and determined individual, the former U.S. Senate investigator, Daniel J. Jones. He was the lead investigator and author of the Senate Select Committee on Intelligence Committee report of the CIA's detention and interrogation program. The largest investigation in U.S. Senate history at 6,700 pages with over 38,000 footnotes. Jones based the report on more than 6.3 million pages of classified documents, which took six years to complete, prompting the Los Angeles Times to describe it as the most extensive review of U.S. intelligence gathering tactics in generations. Shortly after the report's completion, Jones departed the committee and was hailed by Senator Dianne Feinstein for his commitment, hard work, and diligence. All the circumstances surrounding Jones's exploits will be the subject of the report and ready to be exposed to the world through the portrayal of Adam Driver as Jones. If it's going to come out, it's going to come out the right way. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video with your friends and subscribe to our channel for your daily dose of voodoo videos.